Hey there and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'll add coins to the game. Here I have a coin sprite and a coin effect animation which will play when we collect the coin. So first of all, I'll open OBJ player and in create event here, I'll create a variable called coins and 32 zero. So this will store the number of coins the player has collected. Here I'll add a group called items and create an object here called obj coin and I'll assign this sprite here now I'll add the create event and here I'll create a variable called collected and set it to false so when the player collects this coin this variable will be set to true so that the coin effect animation can be played so now I'll add the step event and here I'll add some code So here, if the player is colliding with the coin and the collected variable is false, the coins variable will be increased by 1, image index will be set to 0 so that the effect animation plays from the start and the variable collected will be set to true. Here before this coins variable, I am using obj player and a dot because this coins variable belongs to obj player. So I have to do this to be able to access this variable. So here I will add some more code. So here, if collected is true, which means the coin has been collected, the sprite will be set to the coin effect sprite. And here, if the animation reaches its last frame, then the instance will be destroyed. So now I'll open the room and place some coins inside it. And now I'll run the game. And you can see that the coins are animating and you can collect them by touching them. Now I'll make the GUI for the coins. So first of all I'll make a font here and call it FTGUI. This font will be used for the GUI. So here I'll select the font I want and then close this. So now I'll open OBJ player and open its draw GUI event and here I'll add. So this will change the font to FTGUI. Now I'll add. This function will get the width of the GUI layer and store it in this variable. Here I am drawing the first sub-image of the SPR coin sprite at the width minus draw x and draw y plus 7. These are the variables we created for drawing the lives here. And this 7 is what works best for me for the sprite's position vertically. So you might need a different value. And here I am changing the horizontal alignment of the text to be drawn to right. And here I am drawing the coins variable at this position. And then I am resetting the horizontal alignment back to left which is the default one. Now I run the game. And you can see the amount of coins you collect up here. Now if you want the text to have a golden color like the coin, you need to create your own color. So first of all you need to open the coin sprite and click on edit image. And then select the color using the control key on the keyboard and then click here and you need to note down these RGB values so after you note them down open the OBJ player and open the draw GUI event and before the text is being drawn you need to add this code so here I am getting a color using the RGB values I took from the sprite and then I am using draw set color to use this color for the text and at the end I add so this will reset the draw color to white which is our default color so now I'll run the game and you can see that our text has a golden color. So that is all for this lecture and I'll see you in the next one.